today i will discuss about how to cloud masking or how to enable today i will discuss about how to cloud masking or how to remove cloud from sentinel image at first you have to open airdash this is airdash imagine 9.2 version open a viewer and then open a stack image or mosaic image of sentinel this is the mosaic image of sundarban area now you have to identify the thinnest cloud of this from this image and you have to identify the value of blue band on the thinnest cloud here click on this point inquiry cursor this is the blue blue band green red and near infrared it's depend on your stack image here in this image uh, thinnest cloud is situated is here here this is the pixel value of blue band here 1260 if you feel uncomfortable on airdash or this version of airdash you can also try on arc open arcgis and then open that mosaic image or stack image at this okay then 432 okay then click on this i button it's identify then click on the thinnest cloud portion here the thinnest cloud like that for example in this image we can take this here you can identify the blue band value of the thinnest cloud this is 2100 and here 1600 1700 okay for example I can take this value 1200 after that open air dash imagine then click on this modeler model maker then take a input symbol this and for output this for processing this okay here you have to put the input image here input image this okay then click on okay after that click on this processing button double click analysis after that 
click on conditional then either okay then click on this either zero but this after that if here four band are stacked like this is the blue band green red and infrared the we are identify the blue band value here you have to write either zero if then blue band less than for this image we take 1200 value for blue band then or the, the mosaic image or the stack image okay let's see the full formula either zero if blue band is equal to, uh, blue band less than this hello or the mosaic image otherwise then you have to click on ok after that output ok after that click on this data type float single after that ok then this is the button of run button then click on this run button